What's going on, Vital Syntax here, and this is more gameplay from DayZ. I'm up at um, Berenzina, which is on the w uh, east coast. Um, it's below the northeast airbase. And it's actually a really good spot to go after you spawn in. If you spawn somewhere kind of on the southeast side, uh, I would actually recommend going here other than uh, Electro on Chernal because number one, it actually has better loot. There are a lot more apartments, um, which are great places to find uh, good equipment. There's a lot more buildings to go into. It's just a, it's not necessarily a bigger city, but there's a lot more buildings that have items in them. And on top of that, a lot of players don't go here. I've very rarely run into people, and this is actually one of the confrontations I run into. Whereas if you go to Cherno or Electro, it's guaranteed that there's going to be at least five people there, if not more. Um, so this is one of the confrontations I ran into, and usually what my rules of engagement are is to get in position without making a sound and find the other players. Typically people will give their position away by shooting their gun, um, which is really stupid if you're not doing it on purpose, and I'll talk about that in a second. So what I like to do is get in position, find the other players, um, and then let them know I'm there. And typically I do that by shooting a zombie or something, or just shooting my gun, or making others some type of other sound. And I see how they react, because I'm in a position where I'll be able to see their movements. Uh, and if they start running away, then I let them run away, and I'll go ahead and loot the area that they were in control of. Um, or what I'll do <clears throat> is if they're uh, going to set up in a position, in, in a defensive position, so that it basically if I pop my head out and they shoot at me, um, then I'm gonna shoot back. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a hard thing in Daisy when you run into other players because you have to decide whether or not you're gonna pursue them or not. Well, if you just let them go, um, then really what you're doing is you're missing out on a lot of loot because potentially if you kill them, you're gonna get all of their loot, and potentially if you kill them, you're gonna get the loot that they're currently looting. For example, I run into these guys at the apartment, which they're obviously looting. Uh, and they're going to take all of the items from the apartment, so essentially there's not going to be anything left for me. Um, so I don't want to just run out and attack them. I don't want to just be a total dick and not give them a chance to run away. Um, but if they set up in a position to shoot back, back at me, then I'm going to kill them. Uh, now I run into three guys in this in this situation, and I'm not going to spoil what happens. Um, but I only was only able to actually see two of them after the initial time that I saw the, all three of them on the street You'll see a little bit later because uh, I think one of them disconnected. I think two of them actually disconnected, which is really lame But anyway, I'm not gonna talk about uh, War Z anymore in this or Daisy in this video uh, Anymore, I'm gonna talk about War Z um, or War Z, I guess if they want to call it that uh, Which is to be honest a complete copy and paste of Daisy as being developed by a completely different um, company that's set to release before the end of this year. And I'm actually super excited about it. Now, yeah, I think that it's really lame that they completely stole the idea. And when I say they stole the idea, I don't mean that they just stole the concept. They stole, like, the name. I mean, War Z, that's a complete copy of DayZ. Uh, they, can, they stole, like, even, like, um, I don't know, like, the, the whole gameplay aspects. Um, all of the player interactions, you know, the type of items you're going to be getting, just the whole mechanics. It even has like first person and third person. I'm not saying these are new mechanics that Daisy brought to the table or, or Armor 2 brought to the table, but really they're taking all of the uh, components of Daisy and they're using those same components in their game, which really isn't stealing the idea other than the, the concept of the actual like open world MMO zombie type game. Um, but, you know, they are completely copying it, and they openly have said that in some interviews that they have taken a lot of uh, information uh, from DayZ. And they actually started out as a, a different type of zombie game, and once they saw the immense popularity of, of DayZ, they decided to kind of change their gears and um, kind of aim it towards DayZ players. And I think the game is going to be awesome, or at least it has the potential to be awesome. If you look at some of the screenshots, I'll put a link in the description to a, a PC Gamer magazine. Um, article on it that has all the details. Uh, you can see the graphics look really good, which obviously is the first thing anybody's going to see, and you really have to have good graphics to attract a crowd, unfortunately. And this game does look like it's going to be pretty pretty good graphically. Uh, and they're also talking about like the size of the maps. They're going to be between 200 and 400 square kilometers, which is uh, just as big, if not bigger, than uh, the Arma 2 map, which I believe is 225 square kilometers. So it could potentially be a little bit less. But I'm guessing it's probably going to be around 300 because that's between 200 and 400. So a little bit bigger than the um, Arma 2 or DayZ map. Uh, there's going to be a normal and hardcore mode. And the different is that, difference is that in hardcore mode there's permadeath. Just like in DayZ, when you die you have to start from the very beginning 
with no items. Uh, and then normal mode is basically when you die, your character gets locked. And you won't be able to play with that character for a certain amount of time. I don't know if that means you have to start a new character and keep playing or or how you have to wait 10 minutes before you can start playing on that, that the other character again or something like that. I'm guessing most people are going to play the hardcore mode um, because not only is it the more immersive, more, you know, if you die, you're dead, which a lot of people really like about DayZ, but they're also, they also said that there's going to be better loot for people that play in hardcore mode, which I think is obviously a cool idea. Uh, there's going to be a combination of first and third person, like I already said. There's going to be player versus environment, just like you know, killing zombies. You can even play, kill NPCs. And there's also obviously player versus player, which is really the heart and the meat of of Daisy and what makes it such a good game. And there's also going to be strong role playing elements, which Daisy really doesn't have beyond the items that you get. So War Z is going to introduce like a skill system where you can increase your skills with shooting, increase your skills with hiding or something like that, or increase your stamina so you can run longer. Uh, things like that. Uh, so I think that's a cool element that you know Daisy doesn't have that I think will add a leveling type of uh, you know role playing uh, aspect to the game, which is always cool. You're gonna have multiple playable characters with customizable like features, like probably you can change their clothing or maybe even change the way they, their character look, which is awesome because in Daisy you only have your one character and often he just dies randomly and you have to start over. <laughs> Um, and, and honestly, I hate Daisy. I hate it. It is a shitty game. It's not even a game. It's a shitty mod for a shitty game. And no, I'm not saying Arma 2 is a shitty game. I'm saying it's... I love it, but at the same time, it's a really crappy game. In the sense that it runs really poorly. It's very glitchy. It's very laggy. Um, the graphics aren't very good. Um, you, you have so many issues with like trying to connect to servers, getting disconnected from servers, servers restarting. Um, you have problems with uh, trying to find other players, like your friends and stuff. You can't like uh, spawn near each other or anything like that. Um, and you have a bunch of hackers. I've been killed by two hackers in the past week alone. Uh, so I, I love the concept of Daisy, and and as a gameplay mechanic, I love it. But I hate the game itself. It's just so. Uh, I don't know. It's just such a crappy game, <laughs> and that's just my opinion. I know some people love Arma 2. I think it's an amazing game, and I actually haven't played Arma 2 to be honest with you. Um, also, uh, Warz is going to uh, host up to 250 players on one server. Um, there's going to be dozens of unique skills, new weapons, and items are going to become available as you explore the world. Obviously, they are going to introduce multiple worlds to explore as the game is in. Uh, its development cycle or in release cycle I guess there's gonna be dedicated servers and public servers as well as you can um, host private servers that are going to be self managed by you know players which is really cool and it's since it's an MMO they did wanted to say that it is a single purchase there's no uh, monthly subscription and there's no really need for microtransactions although they're gonna have them if you want to kind of uh, speed up the process but they're not gonna give you any edge so it's not gonna be a, a, a play to, a pay to win uh, model so anyway uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay of me taking out two of those guys. Unfortunately, two of the three disconnected. I was only able to get one of them. Um, but I'm super excited for War Z, at least from what we've seen. We haven't seen any gameplay. There are some screenshots. And if it's as good as it looks and if it's good as it sounds, which we won't be able to know until we see some gameplay or we see some tech demos or something, then I think it's going to be a really awesome game. Once again, I know it totally copies DayZ, and I think that's kind of lame, but... To be honest, nowadays everybody's kind of doing that. I mean, look at when Call of Duty 4 came out; everybody copied their that model, um, and some of them did it better than Call of Duty 4. I mean, arguably some of them, most of them didn't. But um, anyway, th thanks for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give me a like or favorite, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.